Yo, it's your boy Leo Stay True. It's your boy Dotty and Dots. And it's your boy Kahooks. And you're watching Take Flight. <laughs> Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Wings of Take Flight. We are here, all the way from the UK, up here in Sydney City. Leo, stay chill in the building. Yes, sir. Good, good morning, cuz. How are you, bro? How I'm, you feeling? I'm great. How you doing, my bro? I'm good, thank you, bro. Appreciate you stopping by for a little chat during your busy-ass week, to be honest. Appreciate you for having me, bro. How's Sydney been so far, bro? We've got to ask. Come on. It's been a big week. <laughs> it's been lit. I can't lie, it's been lit. Like, I like Sydney. It reminds me of, I don't know, it reminds me of America. Mm -hmm. But like... This has been a lot more active than my trip to America. So right now, Sydney's at the top of my list for the countries I've been at. Let's go, bro. Uh, what the fuck is that bug flying around, bro? What the hell? <laughs> Stay over there. Um, <laughs> uh, bro, what, what, I guess you said it's kind of the same to America, but what has taken you by surprise out here so far, bro? Is there anything that has taken you by surprise? No, actually... I think everything, because it's like, before I came here, I didn't know what to expect. Mm. Like, I didn't know what the weather was like. I didn't know what the nightlife was like. I didn't know, like, anything at all. So when I thought of Australia, obviously, everyone just thinks of kangaroos and stuff. But it's like, I didn't actually know what the day-to-day -day life would be like. So everything was just like, whoa, you guys really get down out here. Bro, how's it felt seeing that side of things? Because again, like you said, we hear it with everyone. Everyone thinks you're going to come over, there's going to be kangaroos hopping down the road. You know what I mean? There's going to be koalas just sitting in the corner of the room. But that, <laughs> that's obviously not a thing. So how's the, the experience been seeing that shit and seeing what, like we're a city, bro. We're, we're, yeah. And from what your Instagram stories look like, a lit city too, bro. Yeah. Do you know what it is? It's lit because it's, it's motivation. So that when I go back and I work and go back to London, which is just a dark place, like I have a fresh mind and new stuff to work around and new stuff to include in my system of work. So it's great. Love that, bro. We take back some inspiration, bro. Yeah, All right. One thing, bro, I, I heard. Are you still 17? Yeah. Are we talking about that? All right. I can say this now because next time you come back, you turn 18 at some point? I turn 18 next month. What are you doing up in the clubs in Sydney, bro? Because I know out here, you cannot get into those clubs. What's going on, bro? How's the energy in that? Because again, not supposed to be happening, bro. I, I can't get in, says you. You can't get into what? I can't get in according to who? You didn't get in? No, I'm saying who oh, said I can't get in. The Australian in. government, but fuck them, to be honest. <laughs> but you made your way in. How was the clubs out here, bro? Because again, in comparison to the UK, I've never been to a UK club, to be completely honest with you. Bro. Okay. By the way, I didn't say I've been to any clubs. Oh, bro. But look, look, look. You'll be 18 <laughs> when you're back, so no one's stopping shit then. It's too late now. Nah, I'm it's joking. The clubs are lit, man. They're lit. Like, to be honest, I've only went once. The second time I went, but I left after like three minutes. We won't talk about that. We won't. We won't talk about. We won't talk about the downside. <laughs> it's not even about that, but it's just like, I'm just a cool one time have fun, cool. But after that, it's too much, man. I like to just be on my own. Back to the biz, bro. Back to the biz. In saying that, bro, I've seen you having a damn good time out here. We'll talk about it a little bit later with the hooks and whatnot. But 17 year old, you're out here on a fucking Sydney Harbour yacht cruise, shooting music videos. How does it feel to be at this age, bro, on the opposite side of the world, all thanks to creating a few fucking songs, bro? It's insane, like, I haven't been able to process it in the moment, but I feel like when I go home, I'm really going to take it in and be like, yo, like, this stuff is really crazy, like, back-to-back -back yachts, like, that's not normal. Mm. So it's like, right now, I'm just living it up, man, embracing it, literally. Take it in, bro. Um, are you still in school back in London, or is that over and done with? Yeah, I'm still in school, but it's like, now it's getting hectic. Of course, so, bro. I don't know. Every day, things are growing. Every day, every single day. So when your songs started to pop off, I know you've been around the music world for years, yeah? But yeah. look, you've been proper releasing for a year and a bit, yeah? Proper mm. official releases. What's it like and what has the reception been like from not only your peers, but the teachers there? They get it. Like, cool, my teachers, they understand now that, okay, cool, like, we're dealing with someone that's not, not like that, but not the same as everybody else in the mm. school. And they have to try to find a way to support it, but... In their heads, it seems like they don't want to support it. They just want to make sure they look good. Their attendance looks good on paper. So I don't think they really care about me, but hey, I don't really care either. So. Bro, they're going to be sitting back watching you do these things and be like, fuck, Yeah, fuck. I mean, whether they do or they don't, I don't really care. That's cool. really Have you ever walked in and one of the teachers just bopping out to one of your tracks yet, bro? No, but do you know what it is? They're not really like, like they'll act like they don't know and then they'll make jokes about it. And then... Once I realize they know, it won't stop. Like, I've never witnessed them listening to it, but they'll just come and they'll start flinging their shoulders or something. <laughs> or they'll start mentioning something I've said in an interview. Or, you know what I mean? Stuff that shows, okay, cool, you guys are actually watch it, but you just don't want to say anything. They're but staying tapped in in the background. 100%. 
100%. What are we saying, bro? Five years' time, are we going to see Leo stay true lyrics up in the English classroom in London, bro? <laughs> Probably not. Come on, man. Probably not. Um, look, as you mentioned, bro, you also went on a recent trip to the USA. What was the experience of that? That was your first time over there too? How was it seeing the big smoke this the, for the first time? Bro, I've been there a few times. And yeah. as much as it is, like you said, very similar, especially yeah. in the city. Was, was there any standouts for yourself over there? New York I had been to before, so it was just okay. like London. But LA was like, it was a whole other scenery. But I don't know if that's just because it's like, when people think of America, they think, whoa, Hollywood. And it's like, now I'm actually there witnessing it. But it was amazing, like from the weather to the people out there to like, how everyone's lifestyle is, it's like a massive upgrade. You know what I mean? Like mm. in the UK, you only see a certain, like the whole lifestyle is just capped at a certain threshold. But it's like LA, everything's just, like the stuff that you would go crazy about in London, that's baby food in LA. So it's like. They're it's, like, this is normal, bro. It's yeah, not, yeah. No, not even like normal. It's like they don't even have the stuff that we go crazy about because mm. they just have bigger and better. Like. Mm. So yeah, LA was an experience. Lovely, bro. Um, look, one thing I did read or hear you talk about uh, is I see you link with Bobby Schmurder, bro. Yeah. Another guy who came into the industry and uh, had a whole lot of success as a young guy. Did he ever hear of any knowledge about, I guess, just navigating the industry so far? He was just telling me the same old stuff that people say. Just, <laughs> you've got it. Just don't get caught up in anything you don't need to get caught up in. That was the first thing he told me when he first met me. He was like, yo, with time all these chains and the stuff that I have on, this is going to be easy to you. Like, it's not going to mean anything at all because it do doesn't mean anything to him. And it was just words of advice that just kept me going. So it's like, yeah, shout out to Bobby Shmurdo. 100%, bro. And look, another thing in the comparison, your songs, bro, big blow up for you is the Fling My Shoulder line. Look, he had the shmoney dance. Was there any exchange of dance move tutorials while you were there, bro? Do you know what it is? I haven't seen him. Like, I actually linked him before that came out. Link? What, the shmoney dance thing? No, 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 before, no, no, before Fling Your Shoulder. Oh! oh. That kid, like, I've linked up with him from before that, but I haven't seen him since after that. Next time around. Next time around. Next man. time around, bro. <laughs> Next time around. Next time around. He's there somewhere. Uh, another thing, you mentioned that he, he had a verse on one of your tracks. Yeah. Oh, he, he did a verse for one mm -hmm. of your tracks. Which track was that? Honey Bun. Honey the, Bun. The remix but, for it. But you mentioned that it was never going to come out. Is that a thing? Yeah, loads of people done verses for the remix and they're just not coming out. But you heard it? Yeah, of course. Why are we not going to hear a Bobby Schmurder remix, man? It's not like, don't make it seem like it's personal. Nah, 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 of course. There's multiple right. remixes that I've come, there's remixes to the Fling Your Shoulder stuff that no one's going to hear. Uh, it's just is what it is. Look, I'm here for it if it ever does come about, bro. <laughs> look, another person who drops the uh, the shoulder fling in a record, obviously, oh my, in the corner over here, Cahooks, in your new record, France. Come through, come through, come through. But like, like I said, bro, obviously, Cahooks. Drops the line in the new song, France, out now. If you haven't, go fuck it, stream it. How did you two come about in the connecting way? Like, obviously, over in the UK, because I've seen you doing your thing over there for a while. So whoever wants to chat about that one first, man. I mean, I think, um, yeah, no, we, we knew the Fly Straight team, and um, I think it was just a genuine connection, and we just kind of were like, yeah, you know, let's make something happen. And we had the studio booked for two weeks straight, I think. And it was just work, 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 work. And then when the time was right, he came in. Heard the beat, already laid, you know, a little something over it. But, yeah, it came about, made it work, and then, you know, he's in Sydney. <laughs> 100%. Have you, have you ever, like, heard of Cooks before that moment of linking up? Or was this a surprise, like, nice to meet you? Like, obviously, I'd heard of, because as he said, he was around the team. So mm. it's like, naturally, I'm going to hear stuff about him and from him as well. So it was like, it was kind of bound to happen. Yeah. The way that he was just so around the, the team anyway. So it was like... Yeah, it's not? natural natural yeah, organic was this the first track he's did or was there a bunch of tracks and this was just like the, the standout the first the, this first was the one, first already yeah let's go bro so yeah. at, at what point obviously uh you linked with the aura team and now you're out here you've been in sydney for the last week fucking living it bro um at what moment did you decide that you were gonna take the trip over here to get this the visuals done i guess bro when was the decision it's a good question i've known about this trip for a while mm. but it's like it was just only right we have a song together and plus on my spotify analytics my second most streamed country is australia That's so it's cool. like we've been meaning to go to australia i have a song with an australian artist like what, better what are reason? we waiting for you know what i mean so it just made sense and happened Let's go, bro. I guess, and this is a question directed to both of you. You can both give me your opinions on both. Look, we've talked about it before. The Oz and the UK connection is, is strong and getting stronger every day. Like you said, top 
in the streaming possibilities over here. Sydney especially, I'm sure, but the rest of the country, I'm sure you'll be up there from out here, bro. How important is it for you two to come together and just assist in closing the gap between the two countries, bro? I feel like it's important because I don't know. I'm not really tapped in, but I'm not sure how many times this has happened, mm. like a connection between the UK and Australia. But I feel like it's only right because the UK don't know much about Australia. And Australia might not know much about the UK, but Australia's really tapped into the UK music scene. Extreme. So it's like, and they're on opposite sides of the world. So it's like, why not? Even though it's difficult because it's so far apart, but it's like, why not do it? And just make the cultures blend to each other and create an impact together. Facts, bro. You got for me, to for that? me, I feel like um, the Australian scene always has a threshold. Like it gets to a certain point, then it comes back down, it gets to a certain point, And I feel like that's because no one's linking up globally and making it happen. So, you know, if we can be the first to ignite that spark again and make, you know, the Oz scene kind of more trending in the UK scenes and that, because obviously Australia's a big fan of the UK scene. Huge, bro. And I feel like, yeah, we just need to break that threshold and, you know, make sure Australian music's global. And, yeah, we just start. And what's next steps between the both of you, bro? Like, is there a, is a, a, some kind of intertwined tour on the way that you could work out? You're coming back for some shows. Like, what's next for the, the Oz UK link up there? I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Insert back. Arnold Schwarzenegger fucking meme there. Yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Lastly, you obviously can speak some French, yeah? Yeah, yeah. How how good are you? How how good are we talking? Are you like I mean, fluent French? Yeah, I'm fluent. I'm fluent, but like I hear some of these French rap songs, and then I don't understand like half of the stuff they're saying. True. But I get the main gist of these French songs. But mm -hmm. yeah, like I'm fluent. I could hold a conversation. Leo, yourself, you got any French? Nah, man. Zero. Yeah. Kahooks, hit us with three sayings that both of us can take back. Oh, Come these on, bro. Yeah. Right? We're going to test you right now, bro. Um, Your song's called Friends. How could I not? J'ai plus confiance en les meufs comme toi. I'm going to more trust in girls like you. Si, um, if you want my bread, allez, viens vers moi, which means come around here. Um, and yeah, that's, that's the two lines, yeah? Let's go. Kahooks, French tips 101. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Um, so you're coming back for some shows. That'll have to happen at some point. Have to. Most definitely. When you're trending out here that hard. All right. Another a show I see that's coming up, bro, is your one back at home. Incoming, you got end dots on the bill too. I see you got some special guests. Can we get a strain exclusive of any other special guests that might be popping up along the way, bro? Or oh, at my headline show. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I see some faces, bro. I oh, don't know. Do I have the green light? Um, it's Australia, bro. What are we going to say? Unless oh, you yeah, can't. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you might see RD there. You might see your Tion Wayne there. Bro, come on. You might see... Uh, I'm looking at faces in the you're room. Gonna like, see maybe it's a... You're obviously going to see an end dots. You never know who you can see there, man. So it's like, if you missed out on getting tickets... This is for people out the, in the UK. If you missed out on getting tickets, you're angry, man. So it's like... It's too late. What are you talking about, bro? Um, look, lastly, bro... I heard in your one of your interviews the first words, and you could have might have just been making this shit up on the spot. You used to memorize songs when you were young. The first one was uh, Justin Bieber, Jane Smith, Never Say Never. Is this true? Yeah. I can't remember if it's the first verse, but I know. Early. What early, the, real early. You knew early. What are the odds we can get a rendition of Jaden Smith's verse right now, cuz? I do not remember that. Actually. <laughs> I to, and he's. Big and Come on. Uh, than me. Come on. Uh, 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 Come on. Uh, 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 a little bit longer than me, but he ain't on the JB he song with me. Ah, uh, we got uh, 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 We got Kahooks. I remember Man, that. Let's go, that. bro. Um, leading into that, bro, I saw a little headline but hadn't read about it. Will Smith did a TikTok to one of his songs leading after that? Yeah, like I knew nothing about that until I checked some comments or someone told me. I just saw and I was thinking, what the heck? Like, that's crazy. That's a full circle moment and a fucking half, bro. That's crazy. Was there any other people since then that have either done TikToks to your shit or reached out and been like, bro, you actually doing this, bro? Like, there's things that I've seen and then things that I've heard, like Ronaldo's son doing a TikTok to it, people like Tyler doing TikToks to it, like, um, who else? Mm, I heard about the Kardashians discussing oh. it. Um, I heard about um, Quayla Ray did a TikTok to it. Yeah, it was just a lot of random people that are actually lit. So shout out to all of them. Shout bro. out to everyone, bro. Yeah. Hey, look, TikTok has always been a big pusher in your careers thus far as well, bro. Um, lastly, for yourself, bro, is there any advice for other younguns? Because you, I know you're still, you're still moving. You're still making moves now. You're still deciding what to do next. Any advice for other youngins just sitting at home like, what the fuck should I do next, bro? Be you and trust what you have going on. Because, like, no one can come and take your vision and dictate it. You know what I mean? 
So take the vision that you have, build on it, build on it, build on it, because it's like, no one's coming to save you. So yeah, build on your vision and be you. Don't try and be anybody else. Don't try and be me. Don't try and be anybody that you see, because it's like, those people, or well, I hope so, are trying to be themselves. So if you want to be like them, be yourself, because that's what they're doing. But yeah. Boom, that's simple. Lastly, from yourself, Cooks, anything about the odds to the world, bro? What, what are we going to do out here in Australia to take this shit the next step, bro? Just got to keep doing... <clears throat> I'm just got to keep doing these collabs and making all this stuff happen. I mean, you know, it's been a hectic week. We've got a lot done. And yeah, this is the start of something big. You know, I'm hoping that the whole scene comes up and, you know, does their own things. But for now, yeah, Stream France, love. <laughs> Stream France, bro, come on. We're going to get M-Dots in here real quick. A few questions. What's the vibe? Right back here, N Dots in the building. Hey, pleasure to have you out here too, bro. bro. Thanks it's for good to me, have the bro. whole team out here, bro. Appreciate Tell me it, about your Australian it. experience so far. Obviously, first time here. Mm -hmm. Obviously, your first time out here on Sydney Harbour, absolutely losing it for a new song yeah. you two got on the way as well, yeah, yeah, which yeah, we yeah, could talk yeah, about. Yeah. Tell me about your experience out here so far. Man, it's been lit, man. Hey, I appreciate K for showing me mad love us. I've been down on, here, you know what I'm saying? He's been taking me and about and around. But yeah, man. Um, Australia's been lit. It's been fun. It's been a whole bunch of fun and a whole bunch of work. So I can't complain. 100% bro Is there yeah. anything that I asked Leo the same question Is to surprised you out here But any big differences That you didn't expect Between here and the UK Let's go the opposite For yourself man Um A big difference That I could um, From UK and Australia I would say the weather Big difference Waking up in the morning And it's hot Oh, like you know what I mean like I appreciate that You know what I'm saying Cause when it comes to me Being in London I wake up in the morning I look outside I'm depressed you know what I mean? You look ready for it. You got the igloo out. out being on right now. Bro, this man. is me being used to being You're ready in to London. go back to London right <laughs> now, man. Um, tell me about the track you guys got coming, bro. Obviously, you, I don't know when you've recorded it or when it's coming, but is there anything you can reveal about the collab so far? Other than you shot it on a fucking fine-ass boat today. Yeah, yeah, yesterday, yeah. Or yesterday, whatever day it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah. was crazy. What are you telling K, man? What are you, nah, what are you nah, saying? yeah. Once again, you know, the same. We'll, the team's linked up and that. Mm -hmm. We made it happen. Genuine, yeah. organ, you know, ah, genuine connection, genuine um song. And yeah. yeah, we came together, heard the beat, and we had to run that. We made a few, but. Go in, go in. So, yeah, how, how's the link? How was shooting the video out there on Sydney Harbour and the rest of that, bro? Uh, shooting the video was my fun. <laughs> uh, shooting the video was my fun. Like, you know what I mean? It was just literally. Pure vibes, there weren't nothing like too structured. Mm. Yeah, we were yeah, just yeah. going with the vibe, vibing out, you know what I mean, on the yacht, like, you know, the females, the guys who's turning up. Like, man, the song's lit, it's a lit song. I can't wait for you lot to hear it. We're going to name crazy. it yet, or are we still. I mean, we're indecisive about two, but we'll keep it. Are in. we gonna? We'll keep... Are we gonna? Yeah, we'll keep it hush as of right now. Keep it in, bro. Yeah, keep yeah, it yeah. in. You know I mean? Look, you're currently riding a massive wave with Embrace It, bro. I heard. Appreciate you, it. Yeah, you know I mean, I heard you dropping the video or filming the video out here too, which is a crazy addition. Yeah, we filmed it today. Come on, bro. Well, of all places, Australia as well. Yeah. So yeah, shout yeah. out to you guys for showing love out here. Come Let on, me read man. this one, bro. Sydney. What? Come on, Sydney. What's it been like, bro? Because I seen it was going viral first of all. Then you've been right. hitting charts, not only in the UK, top twenty was it? Yeah. Top yeah, twenty yeah. charts, but Latvia, Luxembourg, Czech Republic, and here in Australia also. How's it crazy. feel to have a song just absolutely going crazy? Well, fucking why, bro? Man, I can't be nothing but grateful, man. As I always say, I got to thank my God and thank my mm. supporters. You know what I mean? Like it's been crazy, but it ain't nothing. That, you know, I've been posting for so long. It's only about time that it came round. You know what I'm saying? And God chose the time to be now. Right now. There's yeah. never no better time than now, bro. In saying that, I for counted sure. today, bro. I yeah. posted, you posted 22 consecutive times of the same little section of Embrace It, bro. Yeah. yeah? There could have been some more, but that was just, it switched yeah, up yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When did you start to see it go wild when you were doing these kind of posts, bro? Like, at what point and like, what led you to just keep on pushing with it, bro? Mm -hmm. um, fun fact, when I first posted the song, no one took it in. No one at all? No one at all. Crazy. Like, it didn't go viral. Not not even over a thousand views. It didn't push, but I kept pushing because I believed the song was good enough for it to blow up. You know what I mean? So, like, I feel like two days after I started pushing it, it started to pick some tr attraction, you know? It wasn't too much, but it was good enough for mm. me to know, yeah, let's start spamming and let's, go, let's bro. push it into the people's ears. You know what I mean? Is there any yeah. part of you that feels some type of way about, like, Oh, I'm posting the same fucking same fucking snippet again and again. Is there any part, or have you learned that? Nah, cause I gotta do this. Nah, it's it's a, it's a hundred percent a thing where you have to drop your pride and do it anyway. Mm. But it does get annoying posting it again and again. But I do understand it's 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 part of the job. There's only one way that I'm gonna reach new supporters mm -hmm. is by keep on posting. If I don't, so good. It's cool. If I don't keep on um posting, it's not gonna be able to reach to the new fans that ain't heard it as of yet. So that's why I overpost. Some people be like, oh, bro, 
you're dragging it now, like move on to the next song, but it's because there's more to come with Embrace It. Yes. You know what I mean? You're embracing this moment as well, bro. Yeah, yeah, Tell me, because yeah. there's over <laughs> 700,000 uh, videos made to I think it was, bro. Mm-hmm, Has mm-hmm. there been any standout posts from people you didn't expect or anyone that's reached out to you from this song? It's crazy being able to ask you and Leah the same question because you've had some big moments as of late, bro. Yeah. Um, someone that used a sound that surprised me. I'm not too sure, you know. I can't name one off the top of the head, but I can name a TikTok that stood out to me. Mm. The Dinosaur. Big up Hussein. What's the, the dinosaur? <laughs> there's a dinosaur TikTok. There's a TikTok of a guy in the room and the dinosaur came and I started shaking his bumper. <laughs> no word of a lie. No word of a lie. Oh, in Dubai as well. Oh. Even though you're not allowed to film there, he somehow worked his magic. He did his thing. Big up Hussein. Hey, shout out Hussein. Hey, another person, bro, who you shout out to was Kiara, who was the first one to do a viral dance to. Is that what yeah, 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 yeah. Have you managed to speak to her or even link up with her? I haven't been know? able to get through to Shiara. Shiara, you Shiara. need to, you know, get in contact with me, man. I need to, I want to do the dance with Shiara, you know what I'm saying? I want to learn it with her <laughs> specifically. That's. I only haven't hit it because I haven't seen her yet. So you got to wait you know for that I mean? moment. I need to wait for that Where's moment. Where's she from? She's from, I think she's either in America or... Poland, cause I know that's where her background is. She's okay. Polish. Kiara, Shiara, wherever the fuck you are. <laughs> Pull up, bro. Come Pull on, up, man. Um, look, in all your successes, I did see you say there's been some label interest as of late. Um, right. Has it been a hard decision to see whether you're going to stay independent or go down that route as of yet? Nah. Nah? Nah. What's the energy? Independent. Let's go. All the way. It's a, it's a thing where I've, I've, been, I've been in and out of labels mm-hmm. from the past three, four years. Okay. You know what I mean? And there's things that's gone right, things that's gone wrong and too many wrongs with the label side. So with me, it's like, as of right now, independent and I would only ever go down that route if it's by my say. You know that's what I mean? Guy. I love to Honestly. hear it, bro. In saying that, bro, you seem to have a pretty tight team around you right now. Yeah, yeah, How yeah, important sure. has it been to, like, I guess, bring that team together? Just like Cahooks and Aura, bro. And they've, I've seen them mm-hmm. move and it's the tightest fucking tiny team. It seems kind of similar to yours. What's it been like with you guys? Man, big up Flash Straight, man. I'm big up Uptown, man. It's crazy. My team, like, I'm... My team, I'm so grateful for my team. You know what I mean? It's like, it's. I think it's all to do with the team. Mm. It's not just the artist. You need a solid team. And the way my team, we go, we go and go. Mm. You know what I mean? Like last minute, we'll go up and get it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like we can get bookings in. Like for example, Leo's part of my team. He got called for the O2 the day before he did the O2. We showed up the next day, showed it, shut it down. You know what I mean? I got called up not till last minute for the tour, Leo's tour with Meeks. I pulled up, we showed it. It's about the team. The team does a lot of, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. A lot of behind the scenes that a lot of people don't seem to realize, you know what I mean? 100%. But that's what it's about. Yeah, the yeah. label isn't the first thing all the time. It's more about who you got for with you yeah. helping you push to that point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking about sure. the Otushi, what's it like hitting these big ass shows as of late, bro? I've seen some massive <laughs> audiences and you guys popping out. Has it been yeah. instant growth with these songs over the last year or so? Have you seen that in the crowds too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the more the songs get bigger, the Live of the crowd gets when they see you. You know what I mean? Nothing but energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing it's crazy. Nothing but energy, bro. Um, look, uh, on your Instagram, bro, one thing I saw in 2020 in your caption, you described yourself as slept on, bro. Yeah. How would you describe yourself and your position in the game right now? Right now, I feel like I am still can stand by the quote of slept on, mm-hmm. but more so underrated. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like... It's like people are starting to listen, but because there's a home, there's way more new fans than old fans. Mm-hmm. It's like they don't know what's been before Embrace It, so they're just thinking, "What's the next move?" But with the old supporters, they know that I could keep up to time and do what not or what not whatsoever. But yeah, I still feel like it's still an underrated thing until proven rated. That's all right, bro. Like you said, every day yeah. you're growing and bringing in the new audience. They're gonna have to look back at some point, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. But another a track of yours that I have to fucking talk about is, you know, that's that Soldier Boy crank that. Yeah, talk to me. Have we heard anything from Soldier Boy on that track, bro? Have you has he reached out as a yeah? Come on, man. I'm trying hey. to see Soldier Boy crank that to your shit now. I appreciate it. Unfortunately, not. No, oh, he hasn't man. hit out yet. Hey, Soldier Boy, shout out to you, Come man. Come on, Soldier Boy, bro. You know what I mean? Um, another thing I heard about yourself, bro, is originally you were a dancer. You spoke yeah. about this ages ago. Yeah. At that point point what was it hard to transition from that or was it hard was there any mm-hmm. hard parts transitioning from a dancer into the artist you are now no 100 percent. It was, it was mad difficult mm. from being somebody that's dancing in videos to now being an artist people don't take you serious they're thinking just do what we like to see you do dance they're thinking hey we get the music side until you keep pushing 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 and mm. you know i had to slowly let go of the dancer persona and just going to full artist mode, which wasn't hard to do at all. I feel like I've been an artist my whole life. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's just about getting people to understand that. 
And it took a while, but once it got done, it got done. And now it's you know paying I mean? the fuck yeah. off, bro. Literally. I saw you talking about like it was a written interview. It was mm-hmm. something like, bro, I go from being that dancer guy to one day maybe people going, nah, that's Endos. It's, it's, it's already happened. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. In saying that, bro, what are we looking forward to from here on now? What are you trying to see happen in 2025 for yourself? Um, from now to the end of the year. Oh, yeah, we've we still got, got a few months. We've, yeah, we've got a few months. We've got two, three months left. Uh, for the end of the year, we have couple special versions of Embrace It. You know what I'm saying? I want you guys to wait out and look out on that. Mm. Um, tours, shows, studio, a whole bunch of studio. And from 2025 and on, from soon as we hit January, I press go. So I want you guys to be there and put your seatbelts on and get ready to watch. Let's go, bro. I love sure. that. And last one, bro. I'm going to ask you both this question, see if you can tell me because yeah. I probably won't get a chance to talk to you before the end of the year again, Hooks. Top three moments of 2024 for yourself. Can you name Ooh. your top three moments of achievements? Whatever you whatever you've loved to do, bro. I'd say number one moment has to be embrace it. Come on. 100 percent Second biggest moment. Not se- all right, let me rearrange my order. Let's go. <laughs> first biggest moment, baptism. Let's go. You know what I mean? That's Let's my go. first biggest moment. Um, you know, because God changed my life after that. Mm-hmm. Second biggest moment will be embrace it. And my third biggest moment. Will be what's coming next. We're waiting on that shit. <laughs> that shit. Hooks, hit me with yours, nah, bro. I think mine will be performing at um, what's it called again? Um, did you perform, cause the one? Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The lost, lost. The derby. Performing at Lost City. Oh, Lost City. The, yeah, the yeah. Festival. Performing at Lost City. This has definitely been a highlight of my week. You know, meeting all the boys, hosting them, making sure everything's done. my boy. And yeah, um, what's number three? Number three. I guess going to the UK and all the work we did there and, you know, and, oh, Europe. How could I forget? Europe was crazy. I don't remember much of it, but it was crazy. That's all good. Preparing for next year too, huh? That's it, Let's bro. go. That's all right, it. bro. I appreciate your time, everyone. Cause like, time, my bro. Next Thank time you're back, I'm me. sure there's going to be some big ass nah, shows for too. for sure, my bro. Hey, it's your boy Wings. It's Endos. It's Cahooks. It's Leo Statrial somewhere. Hey, <laughs> we out, bro.